Look at his face. <laughs> I bamboozled your ass, boy. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita. Let me let me give you a little backstory. So there's this YouTuber. His name is Kyle Beats. A week ago, he puts this video out. It's like a finish my beat contest. So he made a melody. He stemmed it out. And he's like, okay, there you go. Do whatever you want with it. Basically. I'm doing a contest to see who can come up with the best beat from the melodies that I'm going to make. Are you sure? Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me, Kyle. So as soon as I see the video, the next three hours, I'm just, I'm just on my computer. I'm, and I'm cooking up something mean right now. He posted a video a few days ago. My beat made it into a video. People loved it, obviously, which is why we are making this video. So today, I'm going to show you how I made Kyle Beat's beat. No. Today, I'm going to show you how I made Kyle Beats finish my beat contest beat. What the hell do I call this? Here it is. This is my baby. We'll break this down like per vibe. So we got the West Coast vibe, then we got the trap vibe, then we got the happy boom bap, happy, happy boom bappy vibe. So beginning, beginning is just nothing. It's exactly the same. When I like to flip samples, I like to show you how it is originally. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like looking at a before and after picture. This is what you gave me, and now I'm gonna give you this. Okay, this is the West Coast drums. Really simple. We got the little, <laughs> that little weird percussion thing. You gotta put that on West Coast. So you're probably asking me how I got, you know, all these three different vibes, and that's pretty much just reharmonizing. If you don't know what that is, it's when someone gives you a song, and you keep the melody, but you change the chords around it. Here's the original sample, right? It has chords and the melody on top of it. So what I'm doing is I just deleted the chords. So this chord is gone, this. This kind of arpeggiates the chords, so I take that as well. So these two are just the straight melody, and I can put whatever chords I want under it. His original melody is, uh... Something like that. And then the chords he uses under it are this. So instead of doing that, so this is what I'm doing for the West Coast vibe. So I have this chord, and then to give it that West Coast vibe, see my pinky right there? Boom. That little F, that's the ninth. That's that's West Coast AF. Listen to that. Woo! See how West Coast I made that? So that's how I'm getting the different vibes. Like let's say, let's say I have this, and I take out the chords and I take out the bass, then it doesn't really give you that West Coast feel. It's just, it's just like a slowed down beat. But once I add the piano in, I add the bass in, now, now we got something. Some of the chords are actually the same, like this piano key that's playing in E minor, so I can, I can mix that in with the piano. Oh, let me show you how I did this. Okay, so this, that's from the piano. I go into Edison, I get the first chord, I delete the rest, and then all I'm doing is reversing it, and then I drag and drop into the playlist. Cole, Cole asked me. And then I bring in the brass for this second part. I was thinking of just like doing this West Coast beat, just arranging it, maybe like do it for three minutes. But I was like, man, let's just, let's have a bit of fun here. Let's, let's switch it up a bit. Let's have a bit of fun. So during the transitions, I'm just playing his original sample and I'm just putting like effects on it. Trap stuff's really easy. You just gotta get like, you know, just looking for the fattest kick I got, the, the crispiest snare I got, the, the zestiest hi-hats, the, the grittiest 808s. Like this beat on its own is just, it's kind of basic. And then I'm just using the brass again for the melody. A lot of vocal effects. I, I do a lot of vocal effects in this. And then I just add in the rest of uh, the stems onto it. Then I just have this low pass filter here. So we're going into the boom bap stuff. So I, tur I turned up my swing meter for this one. This is, this is the original brass melody, but not all of these notes go well with the chords I'm using, so I'm pretty much just cutting it right here, and then I'm looping that. Just simple, kicks and snares. None, we're not doing anything crazy. Hi-hats. So the sub bass is pretty much just copying the bottom notes of the piano, just to give you a bit more rumble in the headphones. Then, then I bring back the piano, and then I duplicate this brass loop and I bring this up an octave. So see that? I just, I just pitched it up. I bring back this riser. And then like, I just like that he had brass in his uh, beat. So I was like, you know what? Let me, uh, let me load up my own brass patch. I'm gonna, I'll just noodle on that for a bit. Thank you 
so much for watching the video. I genuinely hope you enjoyed it. If you want to hear the full song, I left a SoundCloud link in the description. I also made it available to download, so if you want to download it, put it on your phone, rap over it, you know, just do, do whatever you want. Have a, have a ball. I have to give the biggest, biggest shout out to Kyle Beats. What he's doing for the producer community is amazing. Like, he single-handedly might have just started my YouTube career. And for that, like, I can't say thank you enough. So big ups to him. I'll leave this link in the description along with the video he reacted to my beat. I definitely want to collab with him in the future. I also want to give a shout out to you guys for commenting on this video. You guys showed me so much love. Like, I swear I might have, like, cracked my lip open from smiling so hard. For everyone saying, like, I should have won the beat, I actually don't think I should have won the beat. My personal favorite was actually Danny Vargas, so shout out to him, because that was, that was a cold ass beat. Like, if he put my beat up on his beat store, like, what, what rapper would want that? Who, how are you gonna make a hook if you're changing the song every 30 seconds, you know? So, like, it's, it's completely understandable. Like, what I did was, I made a beat for producers, not for rappers. Even though I didn't win, I, like, quadrupled my subscriber base, so. It feels like a win to me. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.